Hi everybody, this is Lars Vemir for MamaWorld.com and today I'm going to talk to you about the new loop eye expression for After Effects. Looping animations with eye expressions gives you a lot of control since it works with arbitrary properties and it's very easy to do. To open up the eye expressions user interface, you just have to go to Window and select it out of this list in the bottom. In the eye expressions library, you can find the loop expression under Movement Modifier. There are four types of loops that you can choose from. Cycle, Seamless, Ping Pong and Offset. Let me show you how they work with a few simple examples. When you apply a cycle loop to a position animation as this one, it gets looped before and after the keyframe animation. It loops the region from the first to the last keyframe. The cool thing is, and this goes for all the loop types, that if you choose to modify your animation a bit, the looped animation gets updated automatically. When you apply the seamless cycle loop to your animation, the expression will adjust the keyframes to make the animation seamless. So that you get a seamless loop, like in this animation, where you would normally get a jumping one. Ping pong, as the name suggests, makes your animation go back and forth. When you apply an offset loop to your animation, it will offset the loop and make it a continuous animation. You can think of it as a shift of your animation from the first keyframe to the last. This will make more sense if we take a look at the motion path of this animation by clicking on this button right here. Here's another example that illustrates how the offset loop expression works. We can also control when the loop should happen. By default, it's set to in and out. If we set it to in, the loop happens before our animation. If we set it to out, the loop happens after our animation. The last thing we can modify is the in and out points of our animation. That means that we can customize the loop region. Let's say I want to make this loop shorter. To achieve that, I just have to type in my new in and out frames and click on apply. You can of course loop any other type of keyframes like rotation, transparency, text and so on. I hope you found this tutorial useful and can see the potential and simplicity of using eye expressions in your everyday After Effects workflow. Alright, again this is Lars Vemje from MamaWorld.com. Thanks for watching and goodbye everybody.